gerne tide de slei bjo nisch das äh, gleiche für die gilde der ewige talu in gilde schenen am ere allen wenn You've just heard the recording of the last ever Manx native speaker. His name was Nen Madrell. He died in 1974, and with him, so did the Manx Gaelic language. At least, that's what UNESCO thought before it made a comeback. There are 2,000 Manx speakers today. So how did a language that was declared dead 50 years ago just resuscitate? Welcome to the Isle of Man. It's a small island in the very middle of the Irish Sea. It's a self-governing island, meaning it's not part of the EU, the UK or the Commonwealth, but it is under dependency of the British Crown, so its citizens are British. There are quite a few fascinating things about this island, like the fact that it hosts the most famous motorcycle races in the world. The world champion was first man away in the senior TT race. But that is pretty much a tax haven. It's also a flourishing gambling and CBD capital. But what is truly unique about it is a primary school. Tell Cherry Ugas about Bun School Gilgak. Uh, welcome to Bun School Gilgak. My name's Julie Matthews and I'm the head teacher here. This is the only primary school in the world where children are taught all of their lessons in Mans Gaelic. We started just over 20 years ago, actually in a school in Douglas with nine pupils. And uh, 20 years later, we've got 54 pupils in the school and hopefully growing for the next few years. It's great that the children are wanting to learn Manx. They want as much as their parents to learn Manx. Actually, it's a choice that they've made as well very often. And uh, they sort of bring along a lot of adults with them. So I think because of that, the children have sort of led the way to get many more speakers. If somebody is like from here and then they would go to move somewhere else, they would like speak Manx and let everybody else know that it's a language. What's the funny thing about speaking Manx? That it's like our secret language, so if we're doing a sport or in a competition, we can talk to each other in Manx and no one else will hear our plan. <laughs> Every week we have two children that uh, are picked because they've been trying really hard with speaking Manx in the playground and they uh, go to Green's, the cafe next door, and they join in with a, um, a group of adult speakers there. Jail here and Sly, Bar, Tal Sly, Jane, Conkar for speech. Oh, it's lovely. We look forward to seeing them because it's a different two each week. Um, and uh, it just brings a lot of energy to our group, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, are they good yeah. listeners? Yes. Except, I think, it, like I like just said, I think it may be a bit harder than if we say, talk too fast or a bit too fast. Yeah. Although they are, they are good listeners. They try to understand. <laughs> 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 but you realise While we're here, we ask the children to teach us a couple of words. Bastamai is good afternoon. So is it Bastamai? And the so faster is afternoon and Mara is morning. Perfect. Okay. This is I don't understand. Hanel me tickle. Hanel me tickle. Well, I guess I'll use that one. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of Manx might ring a bell, so let me give you some context. Manx is a Celtic Gaelic language, much like Irish or Scottish Gaelic. Its first written record is from the 18th century, as up until that point, most official documentation was in English and in Latin, although Manx already was the Isle of Man's main community language, until it started declining at the turn of the 19th century. Islanders began raising their children in English because that was the language of commerce, and Manx rapidly became associated with economic decline on the island. So it started disappearing until the 1950s when a man named Brian Stowell realised that there weren't going to be any speakers left in a matter of years. So he got a van and he drove around the island recording the last living speakers in order to revive the language after their death. We don't have a van, but luckily we know of a place where you can still hear and speak 
quite a lot of mugs. Care for a pint? This is like the, another stanchion of the uh, Manx language, I'd say. Uh, so if you want to speak Manx, here's a place to do it, surely. And listen to some good music. We were able to offer a place where people can come in, play music, speak Manx if they want to. I definitely, definitely do not think that Manx is dying. No way. It's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Wait, let me explain. UNESCO declared Manx Gaelic extinct in 2009. Something that Manx islanders and linguists strongly oppose. We had a teacher who, um, we had a, a class of children who were very upset that uh, they were telling us this language that we're speaking and learning at school every day is actually dead. So they wrote to UNESCO and said, we're not dead, we are live and kicking, come and see us. And so a couple of years later, they decided actually no, this is being revitalised and it's being brought back from the dead. Before Manx, the only language in history that was successfully resuscitated was Hebrew. It disappeared around the year 200 and then came back in the 20th century to become the national language of Israel. Because a country needs a language. And the language needs to be lived through education, community and music. My name's Frank Jockin, I'm a Manx musician and uh, Tammy Untshaw de Cloy uh, Ram Cure, which means I'm here to play a lot of music. There are tunes that everyone knows you can all like, play together, but I have to have you know, exactly plan it. Yeah, it's like playing in a it's like playing in a big band really, you know. And, and this this session in this pub is known for being for people to come and use their manx as well. So that's a way of bringing the music and the language together in a social setting, which really is the key to having a a live language, isn't it? Like it needs to be used not just in scheduled sort of you know educational settings and things, but out in the community. Manx language revival is going pretty well. It's been growing steadily since the 90s, and with 2,000 speakers today, the goal is to get to 5,000 by 2025. And we know who's leading the way.